By the looks of his Instagram, it seems Bruno Mars has been laying low during the crazy year that is 2020. But my guess is he spent some time writing new music. I mean, the man has quite the home in LA, and if I had to spend the pandemic there, I'd have zero complaints. Since making it big, the Grammy Award winning singer has afforded himself some lavish homes. Not only was his starter house worth millions, but he also had a getaway in his native Hawaii, and his current place is even nicer. So if you've ever wondered where Bruno Mars lives, look no further because we even found some of the listings. Peter Jean Hernandez, known to us all as Bruno Mars, is a singer, songwriter, record producer, dancer, and more, who's known for his stage performances, retro showmanship, and performing in a wide range of music styles. Born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, Mars moved to LA in 2003 to pursue his musical career, so it makes sense why he would own residences in these two places. Bruno rose to fame in 2010 with the release of successful singles like Nothing On You by B.O.B. and Billionaire by Travi McCoy, which were made by his production team, and of course, featured his own vocals on the hooks. I for one think that was a genius move. After that, Mr. Mars and his success just kept on climbing. His debut album was full of number one singles like Just The Way You Are, and from there, his next albums did amazing on the charts too. Bruno is one of the best selling music artists of all time, with seven number one singles in the Billboard Hot 100 since he launched his career, and of course winning 11 Grammys. At the time of this recording, Bruno's estimated net worth is said to be about $175 million, so although he may be out of the public eye at the moment, don't worry, the man's still rich. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys have requested this one, so without further ado, we'll be taking a look at where chart-topping singer Bruno Mars calls home, including his starter home, his Hawaii property, and current LA mansion. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed, and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Margot Robbie and Michael Jackson, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's start off with Mr. Mars's property in Hawaii. The Grammy collecting singer bought this sprawling vacation house in Hawaii where he was born back in 2012 for 3.1 million according to property records. It was a dreamy home in Honolulu and Balinese inspired with its decoration. There were high ceilings and arched doorways throughout as well as plenty of windows to let in the gorgeous scenery. His previous Hawaii home was built in 1991 and situated just one house away from the ocean on more than a third of an acre of private land. Inside, it spanned 4,124 square feet with four bedrooms. There were plenty of open plan spaces throughout and a winding staircase leading to upper levels. The kitchen didn't seem like anything special, but it had updated appliances and sliding glass doors all around, leading to the deck and pool. The master suite and even the guest suites all seemed like they were hotel standard with plenty of space and large ensuite marble bathrooms. Outside on the grounds of Bruno's home, there was a pool, hot tub, and cabana with gas grill. Although he enjoyed the home as much as he could, I guess with his busy life in Hollywood, he wasn't getting to visit Hawaii as much as he used to. In 2015, Mr. Mars put it up on the market for $3.5 million, but it ended up selling for $2.7 million, unfortunately at a loss. So since Bruno is not your average dude and he's a pretty fat bank account, his starter home doesn't look the same as what yours and mine might look like. No, so his was purchased in 2012 and cost him over 3.2 million. Located along the border of Studio City in Hollywood Hills West, the sleek contemporary house features 11 foot tall frosted glass entry doors and retractable walls of glass that welcome in the city and mountain views. Of course, the home is fully walled and gated, and although only a single story, it spans 4,064 square feet with three beds and 3.5 baths. An eight camera system along the perimeter of the grounds gives some extra celeb style privacy too. Built in the 1960s, it was freshly remodeled, but still had an iconic Hollywood Regency vibe to its design. Fronting a 10 vehicle motor court, Bruno's previous home has stone columns on the exterior too for an epic welcome, and moving inside, it's an open floor plan. The property's combo living and dining room has skylights and an adjoining den with fireplace. These spaces spill out through floor to ceiling glass to the yard. The nearby kitchen had all modern amenities and space one could need, and there was also a cozy home office. Other features noted at the time Mr. Mars lived here included an extra off street parking for 10 or more cars, a full indoor outdoor sound system, and an impressive master suite. His sprawling bedroom had radiant heated floors, more walls of glass sliders opening to the deck, and a massive dressing room. Not to mention the luxury bathroom had a massage and gym area, steam shower, and multi-person dry sauna. 
In 2015, Mr. Mars decided to part ways with his starter house in an off-market deal, selling for over $3.3 million to Jimmy Kimmel Live executive producer Joe Lederman and comedy producer Rob Cohen. But once you see the house he upgraded to, you'll see why. In 2014, before even unloading his previous house, Bruno made an under-the-radar purchase and a pretty extravagant one at that. He decided to upgrade his digs and drop $6.5 million on a private multi-acre estate in a discreet gated community in the celeb film Fryman Canyon. Fryman Canyon is a neighborhood in Studio City on the north side of Mulholland Drive and at the northern mouth of Laurel Canyon. It's long been desirable to other celebs living here like George Clooney, Terry Hatcher, and more. Listing materials describe Bruno's mansion as an entertainer's resort on two private acres in the foothills of highly sought after Fryman Canyon and also dubs it five star hotel living. I mean, I get it. Look at the size of this place. Offering a two plus acre lot with a private road, you arrive up to Bruno's Bruno's mansion by a long hedging tree line driveway. Past the motor court and front facing six car garage, the actual home spans over 9,000 square feet inside with seven beds and eight baths. The multi level sprawling residence was newly renovated with high end finishes by a European interior designer. Bruno's home has soaring ceilings, wide open hallways, and it's light filled. A double height dramatic rotunda entryway openly flows to the living and dining rooms. It seems from the photos that said European designer must have had a thing for jewel tone furnishings and patterned wallpaper and patterned rugs because it's all pretty bold. Anyways, there's also an expansive family room with wet bar and wine cellar and a formal dining room with red walls and a fancy chandelier. One of the sitting rooms also boasts the same red walls and has a large black fireplace. The gourmet eating kitchen has a center island adjoining breakfast room with sunny views outside and glass doors that open to the pool and yard. Elsewhere, there's a wood paneled office, four bedroom suites for guests, as well as hotel style guest quarters. Those rooms are all in the discreet guest wing and then there's a separate children's wing. According to the listing that has two more ensuite bedrooms and a children's family room as well as a kitchenette. Apparently there's a great room in this section of the home that is pre-wired to be a home theater. Besides those bedrooms, Mr. Mars has a master suite in this mansion that tops it all. Here there's a living room with fireplace, kitchenette, coffee bar and dual walk-in closets. The attached bath has steam and dry saunas and a spa tub with views to the property. Moving outside, the entertaining area is just as impressive as inside Bruno's home. It's essentially a resort like the listing says with infinity pool and spa with amazing views, built-in grill station, outdoor kitchen, and children's playground in case the singer starts a family someday. He's prepared. There's also an open-air cabana to lounge out with stone fireplace and built-in heaters. The property is a complete smart home, so everything can be controlled with your iPhone or iPad. Definitely upgraded for the modern day. I think I'm going to bring this house tour to a close here, but what did you think about Bruno Mars' properties? I think my favorite is the one he's currently living, but I'd switch out some of that interior design and make it a bit less pattern. I did like those red walls though. So I haven't done this in a while, but today I'll read out some comments you guys left from previous videos. These are from our recent Michael Jackson house tour. Anna Palazzola wrote, Beautiful homes MJ had. I would love to visit or live in them. I think the Neverland Ranch should be a museum for people to visit like Elvis Presley's Graceland. I totally agree with you. I wonder why they don't do that because the place is amazing. Lori Carter said, Thank you for doing this. This is my favorite yet. I'm glad you liked it, Lori. It was one of my favorites to write. And Tiana, who also suggested the Michael Jackson house tour, so thank you, said, Neverland, a house I would love to spend quarantine. So would I. Anyways, let me know what you liked or didn't like about Bruno Mars' homes down in the comments, as well as whose house tour should be up next. I also recently launched a personal channel, so if you want to get to know me better, watch my vid and subscribe because I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!